I'm here with John Hutchison at the National Wildflower Centre and we're debating Grow Wild and what it's going to be. John, I'd just like to ask you, what do you think? It's exciting. It's no question we're on a roll. It's going to be a wonderful journey. Um, quite exactly what it ends up with, I think uh, you'd struggle to, to, to work out. Any of us to predict exactly what impact this is going to be on the ground and especially how we, uh, we get a load of people involved in this. It is about engaging people. It's about getting schools, children, young people, adults, grandmothers, grandparents out and doing. At the same time, what we're learning about today is communicating that, spreading the message that this stuff that we're doing, planting uh, outside in the, in the park, in the fantastic Elton Park with its wonderful social history and its views over one of the great cities of the world, this, it is about it's got connecting that with loads of people. It's communicating that message. This is critical for our health. This is a really big thing in how uh, people, communities get healthy. And we are talking Everton, same as Hume in Manchester, is one of the unhealthiest uh, and uh, poorest wards in the country. Bear in mind here, Everton Park, if you'd been here in 40 years, one, there was no such thing as Everton Park, two, there was not a piece of green to be seen, no tree, no grass, uh, no view over the city. This was uh, a massive housed area, back to back houses, all the way up this hillside. Now it's released. That is a very precious history for many hundreds of thousands of people who live there, and now come back and see it, and it is this glorious view over the city and we're going to populate it with wildflowers under this fantastic Grow Wild project uh, driven by Q, uh, the world's premier uh, botanical setup and uh, owned by the local communities uh, led by Landlife. So uh, it's an exciting, exciting project. Brilliant. What, what do you think about the where and, um, and the the, the, particularly the link to Manchester. Does well, that... the link to Manchester is is unusual, isn't it? You know, here are two great northern powerhouse cities. We want to connect. We're great rivals in many, many ways, but uh, Hume Park and Everton Park have got extraordinary parallel histories of inner city communities uh, with very poor places and poor people, heavy industry. Uh, both of those spaces now are released and they are owned by the communities, loved by the communities. We want to make that connection. We'll make it through music, if we can, through art, uh, through a whole range of connections. So it's not just the A580 between our two towers, the M62, uh, the railway link. We want to do this um, uh, in the ether, YouTube, videos, uh, Twitter, and all that malarkey. I'm, I'm a dinosaur in this. But we want to connect these two communities, these two people, these two places. Uh, that's the plan. That's the aspiration. Again, uh, it's an exciting prospect.